to show you some of our new products for Ranger. First of all, and I'm so excited, we have a um, new weather vane. It's a beautiful gray. This is probably my favorite because I'm a neutral girl. But I also love this lavender sachet. It's one of my new favorite colors to wear, so I think it's going to be a great color in crafting as well. And, of course, the speckled egg, which is a really beautiful um, turquoise. So we've added those new colors to the line, but I'm going to show you a couple of quick techniques, probably some of my favorite techniques to use with the inks and the paints and some of our new JBS products. Um, first of all, I'll show you this because I just did this. But these are our new JBS Dorley flowers, probably my favorite product we've just introduced, and they are flexible plastic. So and we've got all kinds of other um, sizes coming soon, so there's just a little hint. But these flowers are what we have now, and they come in red and black and cream, but they're very detailed. And of course you could use these in jewelry making, um, earrings, necklaces, um, but of course they're very thin so they're great for the pages, you can cut them, but I've also used them as masks. So I'll show you real quick how you do this, and it's basically just laying the flowers down in whatever kind of pattern you like. Sometimes I like them to go off the page a little bit. And then you take a mister from Ranger, just a little mini mister. You add about half way full of um, water, and then you add some drops of ink. I usually start with about 10 drops of ink to half a mini mister of water. And I'm gonna go ahead, it wasn't quite dark enough for me this morning, so I'm gonna add just a couple more drops in there. We're gonna shake that up a little bit. You always want to make sure the, the little hole is facing towards the paper so you don't spray yourself like I've done many a times. But we're going to take it and just about six inches from the paper you're going to spray. And you just kind of do a little or a lot wherever you like. And then I take a paper towel, just lay it on top and do some blotting. Do some blotting without rubbing and moving the flowers. Dragging my cohort over. <laughs> and you get this great masked effect with the doily flowers. So let's show you one more technique here real quick. Okay. Using our rub-ons, which is one of my favorites. And I'm just going to go to the Haven accessory sheet. And I'm going to go into one of these... Um, labels here and do it. So let's find, let's use a little piece, a little corner here of the, <laughs> the plot we're on. It's a little fat, I'm just eyeballing it here. I'm going to take the backing off very slowly. Add the rub-on to the label and you just use the back of your scissors. Our rub-ons come off so easy. You can use your fingernail. We don't put popsicle sticks in there. You can see how easy they come off. And so I'm going to take now and let's use, let's do the cough syrup. blend the cough syrup ink over the rub-on. Do it a little darker in some places, a little lighter than others. others. And just take a minute to dry, but I'm going to use the heat tool just to dry it real quick. We're going to be using the scotch tape technique, and if it's wet at all, it tends to pull up the paper. Behind a little bit. Get it to cool real quick. And then we're going to take scotch tape, and we're going to put it over the rub on and pull up. You can see how it slowly but surely, I think, 
this one is too okay. wet over okay. here. I add three packs first. Okay. The clear and the sample. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can do a little or a lot. You can just kind of keep going with new pieces of tape until you can get as much of it up as you would want now. It was a little wet, so it wasn't working as good. But you get the idea on these other two samples that I did earlier. This was um, a more detailed rub on, so I just pulled up very little spots of it here and there for a grungy look. And on the one beside it, let's see if I can still get the line up here. It's been sitting for a while, but I, well, it's just sitting too long. I pull up the whole paper. But I had pulled up the numbers, the lines, the little numbers up here. Yeah, it's been sitting too long. It's not working anymore. You gotta do it kind of right away. But you get the idea. It's a fun effect to try and use. Um, with the rub-ons and the inks for a masking technique. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.